Hello everyone. Today we are going to start with new chapter lines and angles. We are going to complete this points. First is intersecting lines and non-intersecting lines. Then pair of angles, then parallel lines and a transversal, lines parallel to the same line, angle sum property of a triangle. So let us first recall what we have learned in the previous classes. The first one, the example of line. So you can see this is line AB. And we know that a line is a set of infinite points. That means it has no end point. I have shown it by an arrow. That means it has no end point. If I want, I can extend it in any of the direction same way the second one is ray AB so a ray is a part of a line having one end point so here you can see the end point of a ray is A that means it can be extended only in the direction of B but not in the direction of A so we can say a ray is a part of line. Third one we have a line segment. Now this line segment is again a part of line. But the difference between ray and line is a ray was having one end point or we can say one initial point also. Here for a line segment there are two end points. That means it cannot be extended in any of the direction initially we were writing line like this this is called to be line AB this is ray AB and this is line segment AB but now onwards we will be using just AB for line AB ray AB and line segment AB Okay, so the meaning of whether it is line AB, ray AB or line segment AB will be clear according to the context what we are learning. Sometimes we also denote line by small letters L, M, N etc. So these are also used to denote lines. If three or more points lie on the same line then they are called to be collinear. So suppose I have line L. And here I have point A, point B, point C, point D. So right now you can see A, B, C, D are all on the same line L. And so these points are called to be collinear points. Same way if we don't have points on the same line. Suppose this is line L. I have A, B on the line. But C is out of the line. Even D is out of the line. So right now they are called to be non-collinear points. What they are called to be? Non-collinear points. Now let us learn about an angle. You have already learned about angle. What is an angle in your previous classes? Still a revision. An angle is union of two rays. You can see I have made two rays. Let us name them ray AB and the second ray is ray AC. So it is formed by joining two rays but they should have common initial point. Okay, so this is an angle. We have learned multiple types of angles in our previous classes. For example, if you have an angle with measure 90 degree. So this angle is called to be right angle. Suppose you have an angle having measure less than 90. It can be 60, 30, anything. So if the measure is between 0 to 90, right? So then it is called to be acute angle. Same way we have an angle with measure more than 90. That means the measure lies from 90 to 180 means between 90 to 180 then this angle is called to be obtuse angle same way straight angle is an angle 
having measured 180 degree so you can see this angle is like a straight line it has measured 180 degree and so it is called to be straight angle now let us learn about a reflex angle so reflex angle is an angle having measure more than 180 degree right now you can see this outer angle here okay actually it can be measured suppose if i say this can be 120 degree also right but if i measure this outer angle it will be 360 minus 120 degree that means angle having measured 240 degree and so it is called to be a reflex angle having measure between 180 degree to 360 degree and the last one is complete angle that means if any angle is having full measure that means 360 degree is called to be a complete angle